What's up, my beautiful dreamer? I'm like, stop yelling. I'm always yelling. Like, the mic is like right there. What the hell are you yelling for? What's up, my beautiful dreamers, and welcome back for another. See, it don't feel right. What's up, my beautiful dreamers, and welcome back for another video with your girl. Shalinda, what? What the? Oh, my hat. <laughs> I heard you ask about my hat. This hat is amazing. I definitely love it. I'll definitely tell you at the end. It's just, I haven't been able to take it off. It's actually a winter hat, but it's lined with satin. Um, and I just love it. I just love it so freaking much. It's just so stylish and this is so cute and I just find myself wearing it all the time. Sometimes I sleep in it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I feel like in it. And sometimes I don't. Okay, so let's go into something for these eyes and definitely I finally got my hands on this bad boy. I am so late and so in love. It's ridiculous. This is the Morphe Dare to Create 39A eyeshadow palette. My last video, you guys, and everyone who watched that video was like, um, can we get an eye tutorial? So I'm going to do one eye real quick and then I'm going to come back on camera and do the other eye. But I used it with this palette and it is just gorgeous. It is just freaking gorgeous. It is gorgeous gorgeous now still one of my favorites is my Jaclyn Hill palette I feel like personally you need both that's just my opinion because there's some stunners in here um, and there is a shadow in here that I will be using in this look but I feel like since I've got my hands on this palette I've absolutely fallen in love with it the size pants of the middle is always great fantastic transition colors especially for women um, dark skin women I love this little corner of blues that one little purple you know when you want to deepen stuff up you guys know where my eyes go if you know me well you know my eyes are all on those greens those greens are everything this little corner is cute you know those are little pops of color that you need and these are some of this neutral um, colors that you can find in multiple palettes now what I love about this is that I get transition colors and this color has been a phenomenal blush and I don't really like blush too much no more be honest with you Huge fan of this palette. I'm gonna do one eye and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So first color we're gonna go. I'm gonna grab our little palette mallet. Gonna open her up. And I'm, can I bend this back? No, I cannot. Okay. So the first color we're gonna go into. I use my Morphe E27 brush, and I'm gonna go right into this color right here. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm using it as my transition color. I'm placing it directly into the crease. But once I apply it in my crease, I'm moving, I'm blending it, going up towards the brow bone. I'm not going all the way up, but I'm going use, I'm going up pretty high towards the brow bone. And you want to keep applying till you reach the pigmentation that you desire. Then the next color you want to go into, I'm going to grab, what am I going to grab? I am going to grab, next I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush by Coastal Sands, this is BR250. And I'm gonna go right into this color here, the lightest green here, and I'm going to take that, and I'm gonna put this directly into the crease. Not moving, not going upward. This is gonna really stay directly into the crease. And I'm finding that if you go in circular motions, it definitely helps with blending into the transition color that you already applied. Then I wanna go and I wanna grab my Morphe M433 brush. It's a slightly more tapered, but still a fluffy brush, but it's definitely a tapered brush. I'm gonna go into the darkest green in this palette, and this is going to go below the crease, I'm sorry, this is gonna go into my crease, between my crease and my lid. So it's gonna go a little lower than I applied the green. I'm sorry, the other green. The other green went directly into my crease. This is gonna go on the lower half of my crease. The lower portion of my crease, but not on my lid. Such beautiful formulation. I have to say, there's it's a tiny bit powdery. I think, I think, I, I think, I think, I think this palette may be $39, I think, but it's so worth it in my opinion. Okay, so the next color I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with this gold right here. I guess that's gold. Um, it's like a goldish, I don't really see green, believe it or not. I see like a like a muted, I won't even say copper. I'm going to take whatever color this is right here. And I'm going to take this on my, the E50 
I think this is a MAC brush, not sure, who knows. I like it because it's a really condensed brush and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna apply this all over my lid. Well, right in the middle of my lid. So now I'm gonna put this palette down and I'm gonna grab my Jacqueline palette and I'm going to go in here and grab that darkest green. Isn't that green? Fire! Love it. You guys know I have a thing for green. And I'm going to grab another Coastal Sense brush. This is a BRC N08. And I like it because it's a I pointed like fluff brush. And I like to use this on my outer V. So I'm going to take that. Oh, the pigmentation is just ridiculous. I'm like, goodness gracious, I love green eyeshadow. It's weird. I have a love thing. Add a little bit of mascara to that. And then I'm going to go in and just pop on some lashes. Okay, and then I like to go back into the Dare to Dream palette. Open that bad boy up. And I like to go into the, the black. And for some reason, guys, I really haven't been feeling eyeliner or cream eyeliner or liquid eyeliner on my um, upper lid. I've been really just concealing my lash line with eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in with my Sedona Lace. I think that's an EB23 brush. Really liking this better than eyeliner or liquid eyeliner or, or anything, anything too harsh. I've been liking just the softness of that. I'm gonna go in with my green eyeliner. This is NYC, old school drugstore. Had for a long time, and I'm going to pop that into my waterline. Really like that green. We're gonna go back into the Jaclyn palette and take that darkest shade, that darkest color, and we're just gonna take that on the outer part of the lower lash line. I'm not gonna go very far in with it because I don't want it super dark. And it's gonna go right up in there. Okay, so then we're gonna go back into this palette now. I'm just going to use one of my Pretty Girl um, brushes and I'm gonna go into this lighter color. It's a tapered uh, blending brush. And just blend that out. Go right underneath it. I'm basically layering it, but bringing it ever slightly so much lower just to help blend out that line. You don't want any harsh lines ever. Then we're gonna take another brush. This is it. This is it. This is it. And I'm just gonna take that orange color and just make sure it's all well blended. Okay. So just in case you're interested in this hat, let me tell you a little bit about this hat. This hat comes from Livy Love, and I'm telling you guys, is this has probably been my most worn used love thing since winter time even came into play this is called livy love and it comes in one two three four five five different colors you got white you got gray you got black you got pink and burgundy which i love this is a satin lined hat good for curly straight colored hair fragile or dry but right now these these months are just ridiculous it's like this weather, excuse me, is just ridiculous. One day is really, really hot, the next day it is freezing. But to keep your head nice and warm and to keep your hair very well protected, these hats are everything. So let me just take this off. My hair is well protected. Look how much shine I still have on my hair and I've had this hat on pretty much all day. But this is what this hat looks like. It's lined, it's a set and lined hat. So even if you have a lot of hair, you will never have a prop. I, I love I love the way I wear it. I wear it kind of like hanging off of my edges so it just looks so stylish. If you want to deep condition in your hair, if you just have one of those bad hair days, if you want to protect your hair like I do all the time, this is the way to do it. We all know the benefits of satin and then to have this great fabric this, to keep your head nice and warm and toasty as well as big and this a stylish hat. Guys, I, I just love this hat. So if you're interested, the link will definitely be below. It's called Livy Love Hats, and you guys will love it. You will love it. And you can get these in multiple colors because I already placed my order for the white one and the gray one. And maybe the burgundy one. Not sure yet. So let me go do my hair and get dressed, and I'll be right back. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done also, what am I saying? Get your life together. If you haven't done so already, you already know what to do rate comment and subscribe you definitely want to subscribe so you never miss another video with your girl 
Shalonda1 and be sure to click that ling 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 right next to that so you'll never miss another video with that same, same girl, Shalonda1. Don't forget if you are interested in the Livy Love hat, definitely the link will be below. You want that hat. Winter is not gone yet guys so you want to keep your hair moisturized, protected and your scalp nice and warm just to prevent any type of head colds that is the hat you need you love click that link right now and get your order on because you'll love it i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next videos Mwah.